Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new RPG Game Maker video tutorial. So this week what I'm gonna talk about, and I'm super excited about this because we're finally gonna talk about events. What the video is gonna cover is what is an event, how to create an NPC, how to move that NPC, how to show dialogues, and how to make dialogue trees. So let's get started. Before we move any further, what I want to show you is actually the results you're going to end with at the end of this video. So right here we have a little NPC which is actually moving inside of Stani village. And if I try to interact with him, it's going to say, Hey there, how are you today? And then you get the choice, which will be the dialogue tree. So it can either answer good or bad. And then let's say that I want to answer that I'm feeling good today. Then the character is going to say, pretty good. How about you? Great, thanks for asking. I was feeling super inspired for the dialogues, as you can see. Let's begin with what exactly is an event. An event is something that a player can interact with either directly or indirectly. That means that it can be an NPC, a door, an animal, a weather system, a time system, whatever you can imagine is actually what RPG Maker will end up calling an event. It's basically something that you program to do and obey some certain logic. So how exactly do you create an event? The way to do this first is to turn off the mapping mode at the top of your screen and click on the event mode. Then from there you will be able to see this little square grid that just appeared. Now wherever you would like to place the event on your map, all you have to do is right click on the chase and then click on new. And this will open up the page for the event editor. Now you can also just double click on whatever square you would like and I will do the same. Now that you have opened your event editor to create a new event, I want you to create an NPC. So how you can actually do this is by simply applying an image to this event. So what you can do is double click on the image right over here, and this will open a whole big list of a plenty of images that you can use for that particular event. So just pick any actor or a character that you would like. Uh, for this example, I'm gonna take, uh, let's say this one over here looks cool. And I'm just gonna press okay. Great, so now we have our NPC that the image is going to apply. If I click on OK over here, there you go. The NPC that I previously created is right over there, and I can actually replace it and remove it wherever I want on the map by holding the left button mouse and dragging wherever I wanted to drop. If I reopen my editor, make sure to save your game, make a new game, and as you can see, an NPC has been created. I cannot talk to him, he doesn't move, he doesn't do anything, but hey, we have an NPC, great. So let's move on. So now let me show you how exactly you can make that NPC move. So if you double click on the same NPC, it will bring us back to the event editor. Now over here, you will see there is something called autonomous movement and a type. So if you click on that list, it was gonna give you a couple of choices. First is fix, which means that the NPC is not gonna move. Then you have random, which, well, it's gonna move at random. Approach, which means that it's gonna always move towards the player wherever he is on the map. And you have custom, by far my favorite one, which allows you to set up a route for your NPC. Right here, you have a whole big bunch of commands, which like you can make a turn, we'll stop the animation, restart the animations, jump, uh, wait, and do a whole big bunch of things that we're probably gonna see another day. Today, what we're gonna do is just make him a simple pattern. So let's make him move to the right three times, then left three times, and we can preview exactly what's gonna be the route in RPG Maker MC. So by clicking over here, you can see that it's gonna walk over there and come back to the first point where it begins. So that creates a perfect loop, which is kind of what we want. You could actually make something a little bit more complex. So up, 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 left, 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 down, down, down. And if I'm correct, it's gonna be creating this perfect loop of once again and a perfect square. That looks cool. So I'm just gonna click on repeat movements, which means that it's always gonna do this. And skip if it cannot move, that means that it's gonna skip the movement that it's trying to do if it's impossible to complete at this moment. So for instance, if there was something blocking the way, it will skip the movement and just will go on to the next movement inside the list. So in this case, I do not want him to do this. So I'm gonna press OK, then OK over here, then save, and let me show you once again what is the results. New game, and as you can see, is moving terribly, terribly slow. And the reason behind that is very, very simple. That is because we didn't fix what is called the speed and the frequency. So I'm just gonna make the speed to normal and I'm gonna make the frequency to the maximum. 
We save once again. Let's launch this. New game. And there we go. Now it goes maybe a little bit too fast, but you get the principle. So you can just toy with this to get the exact speed that you want for your NPCs. And now I got an NPC that is moving around inside the village. Moving on on the list of promises, let sh me show you how exactly I can make dialogues with this NPC. So as you can see over here, that's what we call contents. And if you right click on contents, it's going to ask you if you want to either select all. In this case, there's nothing to select or create on new. And this is going to open a whole new tab and with a whole lot of different things that you can do. Remember when I told you they can do a whole bunch of things with events, where these, these, these are all the things that you can actually do. And trust me, there's a lot more than it actually seems there is. What I want to look at today is the messages. We have two things at the very top, with the first one is show text, and the second one is show choices. So the show text will show the dialogues and the choices are for the dialogue trees. So if I click on show text, it's gonna bring me a little things which is gonna ask me for a name, the text, faces, batch entry, background, window position, and preview. So let's select the face that we wanna have here when we're gonna actually interact with this NPC. In this case, I don't know if we, oh, okay. So this is the face that kind of represents the image we already selected. So I'm gonna go with this face and I'm gonna say, hey, what do you want? I don't have time for this. Okay, so the name is gonna be Tud because it looks like this. Background, so this is actually the kind of uh, window background that you want. So you have the window, which is gonna give you this kind of blue default color. Then you will have the dim, which, oh, it doesn't show it in the review. Oh, okay, crap. Okay, so basically the background is actually the type, uh, the background type of messages. So if you want the window, if you want it dim or transparent, so let's just stick with window for now. And actually the window position, so should be at the bottom, middle, or top of your screen. So let's just go with top for now. Batch entry is actually if you want to enter a whole bunch of text at once. Uh, what it's gonna do, let me show you. Let's click OK over here. Then it's just gonna create multiple uh, messages inside the contents of your event. And then it's gonna input all the text in there. So let me just delete and delete this over here. What I actually did is actually, you can also right click and click on delete, but I use a keyboard because it goes faster. Let's apply, okay, save, and then let's play the game. And let me show you exactly that when I'm gonna enter, uh, interact with this NPC. Boom, hey, what do you want? So his name is stuck, here's the face, and here's the text, great. So now how can we create a dialogue tree? To make a dialogue tree, just go back onto the events editor uh, for your NPC, then double click on the contents box right over here. Then you will see the event comment that will pop up. Let's go with show choices. And from here, you have a couple of choices option that you can input up to six at once. You have the window background. Let's just stick with window as we did for the same. The window position is basically uh, where the choices are gonna appear. I feel like the middle is always good, but for this one, let's just stick with the left just so that I can show you exactly what I talk about. Now for the choices by default, this is basically the one that's gonna get uh, highlighted when the choices are gonna appear. So let's go with choice number one, which will be the number one over here. And cancel is show the player hit escape or back or whatever, try to cancel uh, the dialogues. What is gonna happen? What is the name gonna pick? So I don't want the player to be able to do this. So I'm just gonna disallow. There you go. The choices are gonna be simple. I want him to either join my team or option two, to leave. Okay. So now as you can see, we have the choices that appear. So you have when join my teams, then you can input right over here. And it's very important to put it right under the join my team section that you can see on the contents. Should you input the text over here? So let me give you an example. Blah, blah, blah. If I put the text over there, what is going to happen is that the tug is going to say, hey, what do you want? And then you're going to have choices that's going to appear. They either join my team and to leave, to which whatever the player is going to select right now, it doesn't matter because what it's going to do is going to hit the end directly. And then the text over there is going to pop up no matter which uh, choices the player took. So it's very important to keep in mind that if you want something to happen, it has to be, for instance, if you want it to happen when the player select join my team, then it needs to be right over there under join my team. And the same goes for to leave. Bear with me a couple of seconds while I will input some text there.
I'm done. Let's test this. Apply. Okay. Save. Launch. Let's talk with this thug over there. Hey, what do you want? As you can see, the choices appear to the left, and the first one was the choice one, which was the one that we selected by default. So if I click on join my team, I want you to join my team. Now you're too weak. Bye. Otherwise, if you select to leave, then the hero is going to say, I want you to leave. And the tag is going to say, well, wait. And that's where the events kind of hand. So this is where the dialogue is going to win and as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and subscribe. Bye. Okay, bye.